Hi, my name is Martinez. I'm the Director of Recycling and Operations at Bikes Not Bombs. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly flatten a uh, kid's bike. This is a, your classic 20 inch kid's bike. Um, the first thing is um, you'll rotate the bicycle upside down like so. So the uh, saddle is um, protected um, on a uh, kind of a soft or a surface so it doesn't get scratched up. Um, and then the first step is to remove, a, uh, remove the pedals. Um, so, so you'll use a pedal wrench. Um, they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, it's usually a 15 millimeter uh, size. Um, and, all, and, and what you're doing is you wanna match the, uh, the uh, pedal with the, um, with the uh, tool. And there's two, these two little flat sides um, right here and underneath that you uh, insert the tool in. And all you do is hold on to the uh, pedal and the tool and you, and you wanna stand in front of the bike and you wanna just pr press down and rotate. You're pressing down with the tool and then you're rotating the crank so the pedal is slowly uh, rotating and threading out of the, uh, the crank like so. Um, so it'll take about a, a few rotations, but th those are the threads. Um, and then you'll do the same process on the other side. Um, and you wanna kind of uh, um, have a ver uh, horizontal um, mark with the, uh, with the cranks and you wanna just press down and then rotate. Sometimes uh, certain pedals will be rustier than others. Sometimes uh, the alignment won't be right, so you have to rotate the tool um, a little differently, but it's pretty much universal. This step is pretty much universal on all, on all bikes. Um, so, so that's the pair, and then after the pair, you'll rubber band them uh, with uh, two, two, uh, two loops, um, and then you'll, you'll, you'll put that in a, uh, in a, in a crate. Uh, the next step is the uh, handlebars. So there's there's two different tools you'll need here. Um, your uh, your um, box wrench or your crescent wrench. Uh, I'm using a 14 for this, and th and this is uh, the stem bolt that you want to rotate and you want to uh, stand in front of the bike with uh, with the. Uh, um, in front of the uh, bike itself, like so. And then um, sometimes uh, the bolt um, goes down into the frame or into the fork um, and it's a wedge. So you have to undo the wedge and there's a wedge right here. So sometimes you ha you'll have to hit it with a hammer to break the, uh, break the wedge loose. But when it does, it'll, it'll freely move and then you'll be able to rotate it. So you always want to rotate it to, towards the uh, cranks or the, uh, dr uh, the drive side. And then you tighten it and you always want to tighten it back up after you loosen it. And you, it's usually two, two or three turns to loosen it and then two or three turns to tighten it. Okay. And then the next tool, um, I'll have my uh, triple Allen key here. And what you want to do is uh, you want to um, find the right size. There's, th there's three different sizes. Um, so let's see, one is the four, and then the five, and then the six. Uh, so the six is the right size. You want to loosen all four of these bolts. This is the uh, plate. Sometimes these bolts are, uh, are rusty, so you have to make sure the tool goes straight inside the uh, bolt itself um, and to prevent stripping. Um, and then you push down on the handlebars so they go all the way inward. So the, the, the handlebars are pointing in, inside the frame instead of outside the frame. And then you just tighten it back up again like this, okay? And then the next step is the, um, the saddle. Um, you'll grab your 14 millimeter here. Um, there's a bolt right here. Um, and there's also um, a nut right here on either side that connects. 
and you want to just loosen that two or three turns and then and then it'll come off um, this spe specific uh, clamp stays with the saddle um, there's other seat post clamps that stay with but you'll see that in um, the, our next video okay and then this will you'll set aside and you'll put that in a bin separately and then um, the last step is you want to uh, loosen the uh, the step uh, the seat post clamp so you'll br you'll bring out your uh, your three-way Allen and it looks like it's gonna be a six and you loosen that to a point where this slides all the way down like so okay and then you tighten it back up um, and that's that's pretty much all the steps um, and this and this kind of demonstrates how flat a bicycle can be get because this bike is gonna go into a, a container or be stored either in a warehouse so when it's completely flat we can um, maximize the amount of space okay and then um, so after you're done um, there's a des des designated area for, for these bikes to go and then they'll end up going to the warehouse to be properly stored so that concludes our bike flattening for a kids bike BMX um, our next video will uh, will show you how to process uh, other another bike that's a different size